So yeah, we'll just go on to how to correctly hold tie pads for elbows coming in. It's almost the same as punches in that all I have to do is put a little bit of resistance against it. So when the elbow comes in, it's got something to hit. It, depending on the angle of the pad determines the type of elbow you can do. If I go straight across here, that's almost always going to be a horizontal elbow, the same as a hook. So for me holding pads, it's the same way I'd hold for a hook. My pads horizontal facing the side, I would do a little slap into the technique. If I tilt it back a little bit, he now knows he's got to come into the same angle to meet the pad, which gives him two real options. He can either roll it over this way or do a little stabbing elbow coming down. When you get a little bit flashier, you can go Superman elbow and jump over the top. But that just depends on the level of the guy you're working with for a start and also what you've um, what you find to agree together. So if I go here, sideways elbow. Here, over the top elbow. Either description, roll it over or stab it in. The next thing is putting in combinations. If I say one, two, hook, one, two, hook. For me, the pad work is exactly the same. If he realizes he's way too close to throw that left hook or to throw the punch, elbow instead. For me, it's the same. So one, two, hook. If for whatever reason he's stepped in or lost balance and come too close, when he throws that hook, he's turning into an elbow. It's the same for me, it doesn't matter. So that's up to the person on this side to decide. And it just gives you a better idea of range and keeping your balance throwing different techniques. So we go one, two, hook. There we go, one, two, elbow. Over the top, Ooh, nice, sideways, sideways, over the top. Right, so holding pads, holding tie pads for knees. Um, the biggest no-no, which is very common, is putting both pads down in front, one in front of the other. All this does is get a big mess. But if you see how far away he is from me when that knee's landed, if he leaves that where it is and I move these pads, he's nowhere near the target. The target is into the belly pad. So what we're looking for, we put one, um, one tie pad across the top of the belly pad, and that's for my safety. He's kneeing forwards into the pad. This is to stop his, um, stop his knee slipping up and injuring me. So if I say knee, he knees forwards. It doesn't necessarily matter which pad goes down, as long as you've got some protection for yourself there. So knee, boom, and again, knee, boom. It doesn't matter if you change. Obviously, with your partner, you're going to learn these, like, um, what we call tells. If I go here, that might mean left knee, boom. If I go here, that might mean right knee. It doesn't necessarily matter, as long as I'm safe and you can get a good, strong knee into the pad. So we're there, boom, and again. You want to knee realistically, your target's here, so knee here, we're not kneeing up here. The next step would be the next phase of realism. My partner's going to grab the shoulder or the neck to really drive his knee into the target. One more time. And again. One more. Nice. So, easy combinations. One, two, knee. One, two. And again, one, two. Left hook, right knee. Left hook, right knee. Nice, again. One, two, left knee. And again. Yeah, moving on to another one of our weapons, the T. Again, I see a lot of people putting both pads in front and going T. Most of the time this happens, all that ends up um, happening is the pads get messed around, one slips off, they miss the target, and it ends up just being a scruffy technique. So the same thing applies with the T, your target is here. So hit the belly pad, T. And you want to get physically pushed back so you know it's a legit T. If he just lifts that up and my pads are out here and everything's getting in the way, we don't know if it works or not. 
So into the belly pad, boom, push me back. And knees stay balanced. So we're going to go one, two, left T. One, two, T. Now let's put a right kick on the end, nice and soft. One, two, T. Nice and easy stuff. Creating combinations, shot by shot, before you start putting them all together. We'll just take it back to the T, one, two, T. And again. pads for kicks, for the round kicks. The common errors you see are people reaching way too far out, reaching flat, bringing their elbows together, flexing up real strong, or turning around too far. All of which are gonna send this kick in the wrong direction and just kind of mess up the whole technique. So what you're really looking for is to give your opponent or your partner a good target to kick into. So you don't wanna reach out here, it's not realistic. His target is the body, so all I'm gonna do is recreate that with pads. If I'm together here, I see this a lot. People flex their arms, the guy kicks hard, they punch themselves in the face, we don't want that. So you're gonna go big knuckles together and you're gonna open the pads out so they're nice and wide so the power gets spread evenly across the whole surface of that um, of the pads. So again, you find your range, find your distance, and I'm holding these pads at my own rib height. So when the kick comes in, it goes across both pads, the full length of this pad, the end of this pad, and maybe even a little bit of the belly pad. But I'm there, and again. And I'm not flexed, I'll just have a little bounce to push against that kick. So I'm relaxed, relaxed, Whee, and again. I'm relaxed, I'm timing it, and it gives you a good idea of reading kicks. And when the snap comes, and when they start to turn their hip and get the power. The beauty of holding these pads almost one in front and one to the side is if for whatever reason you've read it wrong or called the wrong thing and you've said left and they've heard right and they're going the other way, I can very quickly change which side I'm holding for. So if I'm here, he can kick right, bang. If he wants to kick left, all I do, I'm not going to turn my body all the way around, I'll just turn the pads to the other ones in front. So here I'm on the left, I'm on the right. I'm on the left, I'm on the right. It's nice and loose, nice and fast. Just to the side, I'm not going here, then changing and stacking and going all the way. Small movement. We'll go one, two, hook, kick, our basic combo. One, two, hook. Again. Beautiful. Again. you don't get a chance to breathe. In sparring, you don't get a chance to breathe. There's no break. If you're getting tired hitting pads, you make your own space with a good strong teeth. If we're here and I'm calling combos, bang, bang, bang. As soon as you get tired, I can call it again. If you're tired, push me away. And I'll breathe. That's when you get your break. It's as realistic as it's gonna get. So I'll do one, two, hook, kick. And again. There we go. Yeah. 